the Gorenga project is an integrated pest management program for promotion of sustainable rice and fish farming project. It is a joint uh, project between the UNDP, GEF Small Grant, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, and the CSIR in Tamale. Golinga lies on a 100 hectare land which is severely degraded with serious soil erosion and uh, soil degradation. The area is noted for its extensive use of agrochemicals, chemical fertilizer, and other POP related chemicals in rice production, cotton, and also vegetable production. The project started with an extensive capacity building for the local farmers in the use of integrated pest management in rice production and also in cotton production. The project involved building capacity of the local people to construct fish pens which are connected to their rice fields. Each fish pond contains about 3,200 liters of water which are pumped out every week. The farmers are taught how to prepare fish meal using local materials and this meal is used to feed the fishes in the pond. Daily feeding of the fish with the fish meal increases the nutrient composition of the water and this waste water is then used on the rice floor. The waste water from the fish pond which contains a lot of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are then channeled into the rice fields which are used uh, uh, instead of applying chemical fertilizer. Through this technology, the rice production increased by over 800% and two planting seasons were done every year and this has boosted the farmer's capacity. Instead of selling the raw rice to local consumers, the farmers are taught how to trash them and then process them on their own local mills. The farmers are able to process the rice back and sell them locally to other consumers. This has indeed increased the incomes of the farmers tremendously. Commercial production of tilapia has become an increasing new business in the area and uh, most farmers now make a lot of money from fish production. About 60% of the 100 hectare degraded land has been put on a sustainable land management and the farmers are able to produce rice in two seasons without chemicals and complete elimination of POPs in the cultivation of cotton and rice and vegetable production. Fish production has increased tremendously and the farmers now combine the fish farming with rice farming. This has increased their income tremendously and indeed one would say that a new dawn of hope is in Kalinga now. Thank you very much. Our credit goes to Jeff Smokers program. Thank you.